Hi, today I'm in the mood to make a web template. I've been making these recently as a portfolio because I'm trying to pursue a career in web design. I've been following tutorials and now I'm at the stage where I'm actually making my own, coming up with my own ideas and this one is a Mexican template that I'm going to show you how it's done. Well firstly I'm going to go to File, New and set the dimensions for 1400 and 1200 in length. And now I'm going to put some guides around it. It's up to you where you put them. But I've put mine at 300 and 1100. And 100 from the top and 1100 from the bottom. Now I'm, I've filled the colour yellow and I'm going to place a picture that I got from the net. Make sure you press place because it will put it straight onto the template. Let's see if I can find it. I know it's here somewhere. Somewhere she says. And it's taking its time. Here you go, it's a bit big, but I'm going to transform it so it fits. There we go. I like that, but I'm going to rasterize the layer and I'm going to use. I'm going to add another guide. I'm going to use the marquee tool after. Just a little bit. Now I'm inverting the layer and I've deleted the surroundings and I'm going to just select. I'm going back to the yellow layer now. Put in another triangle. This time in blue. I'm going to use more guides to make three little boxes. Bear with me for a little while. Very quickly before I do that, I just want to place um, a, a Mexican concrete pattern that I got from the net as well, because I'm going to use that to colour in the, um, to texturise the yellow layer. it just on top of the yellow line. I think I'm going to set up for multiply but I'm going to take down the opacity. Now let's continue to make those boxes. I'm just making the boxes 200 by 200 pixels and I'm going to add more guides. Now I'm reusing the marquee tool to make a triangle. I'm going to layer and layer fill. And almost the same colour as the blue. I'm going to make it slightly darker. Overlay. I'm going to make this into smart and then rasterize it so that I don't have too many layers, get some on the and I've taken down the opacity and then I've gone to the move tool and pressing alt I've um, dragged the triangle now which has become two triangles and I'm now moving the 
guides up slightly. So my three little boxes that go at the top will be moved up. I'm still going to stick to the 200 by 200 dimensions. I'm going to use the triangle tool. There's my three little boxes. And now I'm going to place another picture. My computer sounds like it's taking off. I'm going to drag this out to size. And use the marquee tool again. And invert. Delete. Deselect. Deselect. another photo now. A bit of dining room in this one. Making sure it goes into the guides. Let's try it. Marquee tool. Inverse. Delete. Deselect. And now for the third and final picture for this bit. Got to make this a living room. That's a pretty picture. It's a little living room. Make it the right size. I'm going to have to stop for a minute. Get a cup of coffee. pictures in the boxes. Very pretty. Masterize them all. Don't ask me why I do this, I just prefer it that way. Now I'm going to click control, put my finger on control and click on the actual layer in the layer tabs, the layer bit over on the right. And I'm going to add another layer and underneath I'm going to fill it with black and then I'm going to deselect and blur and um, this is just to give it so it sticks out a little bit I like doing this and then I'm going to I've clicked on FX stroke and inside where it says position I made it yellow so it looks like it's in a frame just hate it when I click on the wrong thing the weight okay there we go I'm zooming in I just I've made this into warp bringing those in a little bit. And 
and if you can just do the same thing with the move tool and keeping your finger on alt there you go three of them because they're all the same size anyway so it doesn't really matter I do need to um, give, give them all frames so all you have to do is keep your finger on alt and click on the and I've forgotten what it is oh that's it, effects as you can see here on the right just drag it to the next one and again and there you go, three of them all in frames very pretty Now I'm going to place another photo. Oh, that's a bit big. Never mind, I can just drag that down. Okay. I'll just place it. That's it. Nicely. Nicely, nicely. I don't know if you watch the ideal. I've been watching all of them lately. There we go again. Drag the effect into the next photo. So now it has a yellow frame around it. It's so really nice. And now to make it a little bit smaller though, because I want sort of blue frames around it. a little bit smaller. There we go. This fits nicely now. I'm going to duplicate it. And that's the pictures done for this page. And now I'm going to paste some words onto it. come right off the page as they usually do. Yep, right as well. I'll have to zoom in there. I should zoom in. I'm making the word in Tonga and I've made it bold. And size 24. Cut it off there so it doesn't go over the page. I need a bit more. I'm going to put a copy somewhere. somewhere. And, as if by magic, there it is. So now I'm going to use the move tool again. Press Alt and move some more writing, duplicate it. And that's really basically it. Um, you just need a title. I'm pretty good to me. Because I'm going to do the rest on Dreamweaver. First of all, I think I'll add, make the bottom part of the squares re more redder when I add the links on top so that it shows more. I'm going to take down the opacity. It's up to you how far you want to take the opacity down. Move tool and Alt to duplicate. And there you go, three of them. 